Hello everyone, welcome back to another video for Philip Stakon DDS card. It's been a while since the last video, so if you feel that I lost my mojo, I'll do my best that I have my mojo back in the next videos. Back to what is important in this video, I will show you how to design lightning protection based on rolling sphere. Uh, before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and don't lose the next videos. Enjoy! This is the model in which I will create or design the, the lightning protection. As preparation for that, in the important model manager tab Ghost Story Discipline, I have turned on the levels 1, 2 and 4 to be seen as reference only in the 3D view. So as soon as I come to the floor plan, we only see the level 6 and I will uh, activate the layer setup that I have created only to see the roof surface. Now, um, here is the working mode lightning protection in which first I will add a lightning rod of a length of 1.5 meters. So I'll click OK, click OK, and as you can see, DDS card highlights the roof surface so that we can insert the lightning rod in the correct mounting height. So I'll insert here with an offset from, from the edge, from the edge, and on the right I will do the same. If we look in 3D now, this is what I have done. As you can see, the lightning rod is in the top surface of the roof. Next, I will insert a conductor. I will start from the lightning rod, a circular conductor of 8 millimeters in this case, and again the roof surface is highlighted, meaning I don't have to care about the height of the conductor. Here I will insert a binding box so that I can close the contour to the other side. So I will just contour here. As a result, in 3D, we have this, okay? Now it's the time to check if this solution is okay or not. To do so, I will create a cross section from the left to the right and then give this depth uh, having the two lightning rods within and I will double click the newly created section AA on the, on the explorer. Again we see the complete model because it's uh, active for the 3D view. So it is active here as well. Let's check the, the offset or the distance from the lightning rods. I will use the function dimension. So click here, click here, enter. And we see that the length is 14 meters. Um, the calculation for that, so uh, as we are working with the rolling sphere, based on the maximum offset of 15 meters, the radius for the rolling sphere is 45 meters. So I will create a new circle, right mouse click and specify the radius as 45 meters. And this circle should be uh, tangent to the, to the ground and also to the lightning rod. And I just forgot to insert the light of the, the, the line specifying the, the ground. So I'll just insert the circle, circle here and I will use the function help geometry. And this is the line for, for, for the ground. So right mouse click by pressing holding the control, uh, control key and I'll use this extend as helpline. Okay, now we have the ground reference and I will move this 
with uh, uh, this circle with a reference line so that it tangent the ground and the top of the lightning rod here and I'll do the same in the right side okay doesn't have to be so uh, precise um, but uh, this is geometry between the two circles is where we have the protection for the Thunderbolt and to make this very clear we can use this function hatch so I will just contour here this geometry between these two circles again it doesn't have to be so precise and close this contour and this hatch shows the protection from the rolling spheres okay having this representation for this plan of course we should uh, take a look at the all directions of this building but we are able now to also demonstrate in 3d the rolling sphere between the two rods so we can go to a front view like this and now I'll use the function sphere and I will specify the radius of 45 and I will tangent both lightning rods like this and if we go to a 3d view like this and I will turn on the complete model This is the result. Did you like the content? Do you want to know more about DDS CAD or have any suggestions for new videos? Put a comment below and I'll get back to you. Cheers!